Wanna see what I was eating four times a day while my back was recovering? Let's get it. All right, guys, let me turn the oven on to medium heat and then I'm gonna start running my mouth to let that pan preheat. So while I was recovering from my back injury, I, I could not eat. When I was in the height of my pain, I was eating twice a day and my, my stomach was so upset because I was in that much pain. So once my appetite began to come back after you know three or four days and I'd been to the chiropractor a bunch and was starting to get a move and get some movement out of my spine again, the only meal that honestly sounded appealing to me was chicken, rice, barbecue sauce, and honey. Don't ask me why, that's all I wanted. So I'm gonna go through this meal. I, like I said, I'll eat this four times a day and then I'm having two shake meals. It'll be shaking oats and then shaking cream of rice. So, this meal is it's super simple to prepare too because as i was injured i couldn't sit down to work so i had to stand and then my hips would start to hurt from all the pressure so i was starting to get backlogged on work and that made my stress through the go through the roof so when i could get back to full throttle working i needed a meal that i could cook really quick really easy and making a batch so all this is here is shredded chicken in the crock pot so all i do is i would throw in 10 to 12 breasts in the crock pot on low heat, cook it for eight hours, and then I'd pull it out and have it in there, and then I'd just cook a fresh pot of rice every single morning, and essentially, very easy, <laughs> all four meals. So you don't have to get fancy, guys. If you're in a pinch like I was, and that's all that tasted good to you, don't be scared to eat the same thing over and over again, because at the end of the day, all that matters is what nutrients get into my body so that I can start regaining the lost fullness and a little bit of muscle tissue that I'd lost during that down period. So let's get after it. So eight ounces of chicken. And then all we're gonna do is just shred it up. So as you can tell, it's pretty much just falling apart in my hands. That's the great part about using this crock pot. Okay, so all the meat shredded. Now I'll get some rice out of the rice cooker. 225 grams of rice here. And again, this is fresh out of the rice cooker, so it's good and hot. Two twenty five. Perfect. All right, little Pam. And I'm just going to drop this in. Spatula, I'm just going to chop that rice up just a little bit so it spreads out. Some magic flavoring, salt, and cover it roughly five minutes. As I was starting to add all the carbs and food back in me, I wanted to make sure that all my food was partitioning properly. So of course, GDA by New Ethics, take one of those, roughly 10 minutes before I'm gonna start eating. And again, that's just gonna make sure that all the carbohydrates go to my muscle and just don't sit in my stomach. All right guys, five minutes up. As you can tell, good and steamy. All we're gonna do is just chop up this chicken and make sure it's really good and shredded and then stir it all together before we turn the eye off and then add the honey and then add the barbecue sauce. So if I was in a prep, I would 100% measure this honey that I'm about to put in here. But since it's the off season and I'm really just trying to start to drive my food north again, it is not something I track. As you can see, I don't put a ton in there. Then we just got some Virginia honey here. One thing, cool thing that most people don't realize is if you get local honey, it'll actually help with your allergies a lot. And per tablespoon is roughly 17 grams of carbs. So I'm not gonna use a full tablespoon here, obviously. But all I wanna do is just drizzle it over the meat here. Just like that. And then barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy. Again, pre-contest, as you guys saw, I measure this, but in the off season, I just really don't. This is by far my favorite barbecue sauce in terms of low calorie, sweet and spicy. It's got a little heat, but at the same time, it's sweet. So you can see there, not a ton of barbecue. Now I mix it all up. Again, just gonna get that honey and that barbecue sauce evenly coated and distributed across all the meat. Honestly, once you I get this plated, it doesn't look like I have much of anything on it. It kind of just looks like I eat plain chicken and rice. But I can tell you, the taste is next level. And again, this meal is very, very low fat. It's just the fat, trace fat in chicken. Q. 
can't lose that last bit of rice. All right, guys, as this chicken and rice cools here, let me talk to you a little bit about why I like this meal and why I structure it the way I do. So we're in the off season. My appetite was in the absolute dump because of so much pain I was in. So what we have to do is find ways to get quality protein and carbs in while keeping my appetite up. So for me personally, I know it sounds really counterintuitive. Most people assume that when your appetite's trash, you simply lower carbohydrates. Well, that's the exact opposite for me. What I do is almost make fat non-existent and that drives my appetite through the freaking roof. So I have a good clip of carbs, a good clip of protein. My tr fats are super, super low. So what I was doing with my last meal of the day is I was trying to catch up on a lot of fat. So in order to do that, I was having 40 to 50 grams of fat with my last meal because I wanted to have, ensure that my protein was in. Because to me, that's what's gonna give me the muscle fullness, that's what's gonna give me the strength, that's gonna help repair the injury and repair my muscle tissue. So with this, again, eight ounces of chicken, that's just shredded from the crock pot that I made early in, earlier a couple days ago. And then a fresh pot of rice in the rice cooker. And then with fruit here, I was actually rotating the fruit sources. So I would do either banana, apple, pineapple, mixed berries. So for those four meals. And that was the only thing that would honestly change. This tasted so good to me. I could get down really, really easy. And, and in turn, the weight started to come back on. I was recovering at a faster rate because I was actually getting the proper nutrients in my body. So I can't stress this to you guys enough. You have to find things in situations like that that taste good to you, that are palatable, and at the end of the day, keep your digestion flying because I'll be hungry again in 90 minutes with this meal. So time to eat up. Mm. So freaking good. And if you didn't know, Christmas plates, super anabolic. All right, there you have it, guys. My go-to meal the last few weeks. I absolutely love it. As you can tell, went down really smooth. I'll be hungry again in 90 minutes, and it's something I look forward to. So, again, just to kind of retouch on all these basics I just talked about. Find foods that digest well with you. Stick with them. You don't have to be fancy to have a successful meal plan. Four chicken and rice meals, two shake meals. Game over. Super easy, all six meals covered, and I'm back to work, back to healing, back to getting better. Thanks for following along, guys. Like, share, and subscribe for more content. We really appreciate all the support you all are giving us here at Chris Evans TV, and until next time. I don't know if I ever told you, the first Pokemon game, time I played together, I had one and he had the other. And we were, the goal was to see if you get the, be, be the fastest. And then once we got <coughs> past the final badge, we wanted to battle each other. Right. And you couldn't like, because I got by, I beat the game faster than him. But I was like, as soon as I get there, I'll just stop. Right. And you do the same. Because I mean, I, by the time I beat him, I had more time. I could have went back and made everybody awesome. I actually had, it was like a level 87 Pikachu. And I was like, hell yeah. Like I, I, I kept, you know, dodging the evolution. And he knew this. And one day we're in the car and he's like, hey, can I play yours? I'm like, sure. He starts laughing. I was like, what? He goes, I just made your Pikachu a Raichu. I'm like, you fucking asshole. Like, should never let you play. He thought it was hilarious. <coughs> I know, because I wanted to, my goal was to beat him with a Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know, I mean, I beat the piss out of him, but it's still, pissed me off that I was like, I wanted to beat him. I wanted to go through all six of his Pokemon with Pikachu, <laughs> see if I could do that. <laughs>